hey guys. So, um, I have a friend on Facebook, <coughs> and, um, you know, he's very into this whole liberal movement of ban guns, and he posted a, uh, question on his Facebook status, and it was, uh, how how many loaded guns does it take to get shot at a gun show or some stupid crap like that and I responded I said it takes one good man who's been unarmed and a bunch of criminals who don't care about the laws and uh, you know he comes back with some Dalai Lama shit but uh, you know I had a couple other friends that um, we we're talking about how they weren't going to get involved in any of these protests. They don't say anything on Facebook um, or YouTube or anything like that. Brr, that wind was cold. <laughs> they, um, because, you know, they know that Big Brother's watching and they don't want, um, they're scared. And I've been trying to explain to these people that that is tyranny. You know, when you fear your government, that is tyranny. That's exactly what our forefathers were talking about. You know, I don't know how far they're going to take this thing or try to take this thing. It may die down. It may wind up just these 23 executive orders, which I think the biggest thing that uh, concerns me about the executive orders is the mental health care um, and physicians getting involved. Um, I don't agree with that. I don't think that people should be afraid to go to their doctor because, you know, they got drunk last Friday night and had an argument with their wife and even though no guns were pulled out or anything, you know, just your typical argument, uh, some doctor who's high and mighty on this liberal agenda might use that as an excuse to come in and have your guns taken and possibly your kids and things like that you know I mean that's tyranny you know when you can't even confide in your doctor um, when you're scared to perform your constitutional rights uh, by redressing your government of your grievances that's tyranny and you know, maybe the majority of Americans don't give a rat's ass, um, but I do. So, I'm getting really tired of this Facebook situation. I get on there and do nothing but scan through the updates and get pissed. Because um, one thing I'm finding out, I'm kind of a little, little bit hippie. Um, I'm very eco-friendly. I'm very concerned about animals and the environment and all of these things. <laughs> But yet, I'm also um, more interested in eating deer meat or um, fish that I got, rainbow trout, you know, things like that, versus I'm not vegan. I guess you could say that I'm a conservative, Republican, Libertarian who cares about life around me. And it's very hard line to cross. It's hard to be on both sides because a lot of um, conservative Republicans will give me hell for giving a shit about animals and um, and not like liking people throwing litter down or um, dumping shit in rivers, you know. And then the other side is the people that I meet minds with on those things don't want guns and you know it's like there's no freedom to be just who you want to be anymore it's you're labeled you're left or you're right you're conservative or you're liberal <laughs> and the thing that amazes me though the most is that the conservatives that I know if they don't agree with you they just shut you out they're just I'm done with you the liberals are vile hateful mean-spirited um, name callers. I mean, they there's no room for discussion. They are, they act like they are. They act like they're like, oh, you know, I'm I'm trendy hippie and um, you know, peace, light, and love, and fair equal rights. Except for to you who disagree with me. I mean, it makes no flipping sense to me. They'd rather have a cow pinned up in a 
tight quarters where they're slaughtered while they're watching their relatives being slaughtered, um, living a miserable life, pumped full of antibiotics and stuff, um, versus somebody going out in the woods and taking an animal who's lived its life free, has a chance to run, um, isn't injected full of shit, uh, with g given a chance to give birth and raise their, you know, little ones um, for future generations. <laughs> They're sick in the head. They're just twisted, twisted people, and I'm very discouraged about it. Um, pretty discouraged with a lot of people in my world right now. That um, I mean, you could, the, the other side of that is then there's the group of people that they, honest to God, don't care one way or the other. They're so they're so big box stored and so. Uh, American idolized that they don't give a shit um, at least today they don't you know my, my thing is um, with this one particular gentleman that really had me fired up um, that we were debating back and forth a little bit on Facebook you know he is the type of person that he ticks people off often I mean he runs his mouth he he's very adamant that you know he does the whole Dalai Lama thing and then throws some nasty, hateful words out at you afterwards, which, again, is a contradiction in terms. makes no sense. But, um, you know, what's going to happen when his home's broken into and he's got a wife and two children and uh, he does not live in the uh, center of the county. He lives in a small little... Um, township in the county I think they have their own cop or two but you know what's gonna happen to him whenever this happens if something happens to him you know is, am I still gonna be the bad guy you know I mean he talks as if I should be hung in the court square and and what kills me is their violent attitude while they're trying to claim they want to do away with violence. That's what flips me out. Um, in the meantime, I hear that China's uh, gearing up for some type of war. They've got the People's Republic Army getting ready. Um, might want to pay attention to that. Uh, supposedly, we're out of silver. Might want to pay attention to that. And if you're like me and you can't afford to go investing in big silver coins and things like that, you know what, guys? Uh, Goodwill store, thrift shop people a lot of times don't know when they're cleaning out granny's uh, closets after she's passed away they don't they don't really know what she's got you know it's not as good as what they got so it's just trash to them um and you'd be amazed at the things you can find all right thor we get it but um as for us you know what we're we're here to support any anything that we can uh rallies and things uh to get ready for standing up for the Second Amendment, but in the meantime, we're just uh, working on trying to get our self-sustainable life built, you know, um, taking care of our chickens and our turkey and chopping wood, which I offered to help Mike split wood today, and y'all, that's embarrassing. That is some hard work. My right arm feels like painful jello. That's all. But I need to get back into shape and that's one of the ways that I'm planning on doing it is giving him a little bit of uh, assistance uh, with splitting not just carrying and stacking the wood which yeah I can do that all day long who can't but I'm just I'm more and more aggravated um, you know I'm less concerned anymore about uh, dirty politicians than I am idiotic civilians that just don't have a clue just don't seem to have a clue or care um gosh i'm listening to thor over there and he is just wheezing like i'm not sure at what point i should be concerned he seems to be wheezing a lot anyway guys i'll i'm gonna close it up here um, I'm rambling a little bit. I try to keep my videos as short as possible, but the economy is uh, doing what it's going to do, and uh, we're still tanking, and I almost think that some of this is a diversionary tactic to 
to keep our eyes off of those things so keep watching your grocery prices um, if you can stack some silver if not stack goods you know um, shit even bars of soap will be worth something when nobody can get it if it comes to all that so do what you can um, whether you're a gun supporter or not you <laughs> If you give a damn about any of the liberties that were guaranteed to us through our Constitution and Bill of Rights, you damn well better start picking sides because you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have freedom of, of press uh, and not have the right to bear arms. You can't have the right to bear arms and uh, not have the right to address your government of your grievances. I mean, th these things are all tied together. They were thought out well. Um, blood, sweat, and tears. Um, people died to give get us those rights and you know you might uh, be one of those people that oh you know I don't I don't like guns oh I don't like guns they're so evil you know what you're really not gonna like them whenever there's a big one pointed in your face and there's nobody else around uh, not even your police enforcement able to come and help your ass then you're really not gonna like guns But uh, all we can do is just try to be as self-sufficient as possible. Um, try to follow the law. Uh, do, do what we can by the courses that were given to us by our forefathers. And, uh, you know, hey, maybe somebody will come up with something on this impeachment idea. Um, but is that going to stop the UN agenda? I believe this is a UN agenda. I don't think this is Obama anymore as much as I think it's the UN. Um, I've heard a lot about that through the years. I've kind of been like, oh yeah, I'm sure they'd love to, but, 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 you know, no leader wants to give up their own private boundaries. But, you know, if you think back to um, Braveheart, that movie Braveheart in Scotland, when Scotland was about to face England, <laughs> there were, they called them the nobles, and they were the wealthy people in, in the region that owned plantations and so forth. And a lot of them sided with England for one reason and one reason only. They didn't think the peasants were going to be able to fight off the British. And uh, there's people in this country like that today, too, you know, and the president could be one of them. Uh, who knows? Who knows what gun's been put to his head? Who knows? Who knows? I'm not defending them. I'm just saying we don't really know where this is coming from, where it's planning on going. All we know is that... Um, it ain't looking good for us, so, and, and we got a long road to hoe. And these idiot liberal tards, libtards, isn't that what you call them, libtards? They're ticking me off worse than any legislator, anybody in any political power at all right now. They are ticking me off worse. So anyway, hope you guys are doing good, et cetera, et cetera. Peace out.